Hey Fruit Bats, welcome to another episode. So today's video is on Gabby and Nikki. They are twins with a very successful YouTube channel called Nikki and Gabby. They got 1.9 million subscribers, they're getting something like quarter of a million more subscribers each month. So it's a very influential channel. On Instagram, they've got over 700,000 followers each. So one of my lovely haters on Twitter actually alerted the girls to the fact that I'm making this video. And I just want to say to the girls, Nikki, Gabby, this is not a hate video. This is about education. This is about raising awareness and helping you girls girls and your viewers to just live a happy, healthy life and do it the right way. So I'm not going to put them through the how much do they give a fuck checklist because there's two of them and that would make it rather difficult. But I do want to have a look closer at their diet and their recommendations because they're influencing a lot of young women. So let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm Nikki and I'm Gabby and today we have a video on how, how to lose, lose weight. weight. Quick and easy. Very quickly. And it was. Very I know a lot of you loyal fruit bats are gonna know what I have a problem with first up with this video, and that's this whole lose weight quick and easy rubbish. And Gabby even went on to say very quickly, so I just had to face palm because that is just such misinformation. And it's actually really dangerous as it encourages extreme dieting methods, and that leads to bulimia, anorexia, and a whole lot of other eating disorders. We figured we would do it right now. It's summertime. What better time to do a weight loss video than right now? Having this focus of lose weight for summer and encouraging your young viewers to do the same instead of adopting a healthy lifestyle for life is actually encouraging eating disorders, even if these girls don't mean to do that. The first tip that we are going to tell you guys to do is to make a playlist. And I know it sounds really generic, but there is absolutely no way you can work out if you're not motivated. So I'm really happy to hear this. Exercise is important. I'm glad these girls are encouraging it. So a big tick for me for that. I lose weight is just five portions because I get such big cravings. And when I don't give my body the craving, it'll be hard and I'll do it. But then eventually I will binge. Eventually I will binge. So these girls are obviously very young and they don't understand optimal human nutrition and how the brain and body works. So Nikki is not recognizing the fact that her body and her brain is just asking for sugar, asking for carbohydrates, which every cell in the body runs on. When you get a craving, that's what it means. You are carb deficient. So you have to honor that craving with the right foods, unlimited high carb vegan food. But instead, this is what Nikki does and she recommends you do the same. Instead of having two slices of pizza, which I used to always have, literally going from having two slices to having that one half a slice to fulfill that craving. Ugh, half a slice? I want the whole freaking pizza. How boring. Gabby's not happy about it either. Come on, this calorie restriction does not work. Eventually, you binge out, like you said earlier. So instead, remove the food that is causing the weight gain and replace it with the high-carb vegan version. For me, cutting out is the easiest. For example, if you're going to have a hot dog, take away the unnecessary bun. No, Gabby, no. The low-fat carbohydrate portion of the meal, the bun, is not causing the weight gain. But what is causing the weight gain is a fatty, disgusting processed stick of testicles, anus, tumor, lips that we call hot dog meat. And on the side, don't get fries. Like, ask them for, for a, a veggie. Like, coleslaw or a veggie option or a fruit salad option. Girls, a veggie option is what the whole meal should be. So Nikki usually likes her coffee, but I like to pack my breakfast because I'm not super hungry in the morning, but I eventually get starving. But I eventually get starving. So I just put some fruit in a mason jar, and then I put some yogurt on top of the fruit. I'm not a huge breakfast person, but I'm a huge fit tea person. I love to drink it before I work out. I see a lot of results, but I am not working out in this case, but I love it so much I am drinking it for breakfast. What happens when you calorie restrict and you binge on fatty animal foods is that your body pushes you towards stimulants like coffee and fit tea for energy. And although I'm very happy to see that there's fruit there, this breakfast is just far too small and it's setting her up for a binge and possibly a purge later on. Your breakfast really should be the biggest meal of the day. Nice big 10 banana smoothie for breakfast would satisfy them for the morning, keep them away from the junk food and keep them away from the stimulants. Candy. And then I have, just in case I get hungry, Hello Kitty gummies. And I love gummies. I love Hello Kitty. I love these. Like. I'm carrying them around with me all day. I'm just gonna start eating these. I hope you guys don't think I'm rude. Mm. Oh. Mm. 
You can just tell how hungry these two are for sugar, particularly Gabby. You can see it in her body language if you look closely. Coming from an eating disorder myself in the past, I can see it a mile off. She looks like she literally wants to make love to that candy. And that's how you get when you're dieting and you're starving your brain of carbohydrates, of brain fuel. Really getting hungry Stuff, if you watch Food Network like Some we do. And I like the shallot because it's mild, so I think it'll be really nice with a chicken. And these are potent shallots, very fresh. I'm gonna start zesting. And then you pick out. Oh, mm. <laughs> this is actually phenomenal. Being this hungry and not wanting to go to sleep late at night and ordering something like this is a sure sign that you're calorie restricting during the day. And for the girls, the calorie restriction definitely starts at breakfast. And I'm just smothering some berry cream cheese on top. And I just discovered it and I'm currently obsessed. And let me tell you, this is so quick, so easy, and so delicious. I love it. Cut up some strawberries. Uh, there's no exact amount, just however looks enough. This pepper slash egg breakfast, which is super healthy and really easy to make. And don't worry if it leaks underneath. And then I'm just scooping it on a plate. And now I'm so ready to dive in. And I'm finishing with some parsley leaves on the top. And voila. And after calorie restriction, sure enough, comes a binge. On Instagram, they have post after post of animal product laden junk food, which is cruel to animals. It is cruel to your health, cruel to the environment, and a terrible example for young people around the world. So please, girls, make the connection. So last year, Gabby wrote on Twitter, someone take me to vegan treats. And I'm not surprised because her idol is Ariana Grande, who has been on a plant-based diet for a little while now. So Gabby, what are you doing? It's time to step up to a vegan life lifestyle all the signs are there you're feeling like eating vegan food just go with it so what i want to say to nikki and gabby is please realize the influence you have over so many young girls and what you're recommending at the moment is not healthy at all calorie restriction lose weight quick and easy it is just a lie it takes time and it should be a lifestyle change for life not some quick weight loss diet for summer Although you may not mean it to and you may not know any better, your current recommendations are leading to eating disorders in women. It took years for me to get fit and healthy. So you shouldn't be focusing on a number on the scales. You should be focusing on getting fitter, healthier, and healing your body. If you follow Nikki and Gabby's advice, you are sure to binge out and gain all the weight back plus more because you're teaching your body to be a fat storer, not a fat burner. Okay, girls, so stop screwing with your metabolism while you're young and jump on a raw till four vegan lifestyle. You're going to love it because you get to eat as much as you care for. And in time, you're going to become the happiest, healthiest person you know. And that always should be the goal. Okay, Fruit Bats, so make sure you tweet this video to the girls. Let them know. And I will see you soon. Don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. And if you appreciated the effort into this video, give us a thumbs up. And I will see you tomorrow. In the comments below, what is the number one thing that ruins your diets? Let's see if we can all relate yes. on this. I think it's pizza. I see a slice it's and chicken I'll... pot pie, cupcakes, or pecan pie. Pizza or chocolate? Cookie dough. Okay, cookie dough. We're going to see you guys next time in a video. <laughs> Sorry, about it. we keep rambling about it <laughs> because we love food, but we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> but I eventually get starving. I will binge.